What is going on guys, Brian here with another video and today we're going to be introducing the top 5 raids of the week. If you guys want to submit some raids for me to review and to get in there, um, go ahead and email your video or your recording at the email shown on the screen. It can be anything you got. It could be a big loot raid. It could be you smashing a Town Hall 9. This isn't just for high level players. I want this to be open to anybody. So get your submissions in and get them to me. But without further ado, let's get started on week 1 and today we have some top clashers doing their attacks. Alright guys, kicking off this week's top 5, we have a mod Malik from Arid Champions and he's going to be showing us how to do mass golems. He has 7 golems. He's dropping 3 on this side with a jump spell and 3 on the other side with a jump spell and then he drops down the CC containing the 4th golem on that left side and he's going to put down his wizards. Now he doesn't have very many wizards but I think his plan here is to take out all the defenses and then jump his heroes into the center. So he does do the three jump spells. His golems are gonna group up here at the bottom, as you guys can see, and his heroes are actually, his king is actually drifting off to the side, which isn't such a bad thing, because he's gonna be taking out the buildings for the golems to go straight into the center, into the defenses. So his queen is gonna be shooting to the center. He goes ahead and rages up the golems, which I thought was pretty interesting. And they are now getting hit by the single target in front of the tower, but nothing is hitting the archer queen. She is free to fire away and deal all her damage. So he did a really good job at getting all those golems into the center. And as you can see, the Lava Hound is being distracted with that king who drifted off to the side. And then he started hitting the golem over there. So the queen is now hitting the king, and the king is following the golems. The queen is still yet to be hit, which is very, very nice. King is going to go down. This guy has plenty of time to do what he does with his queen. And here comes the Lava Pups. Still, the single target in front of the tower is going to be distracted with that last golem over there. And the queen is going to go ahead and take the town hall for an easy two-star. Rather interesting attack from Ahmad Malik from Arab Championships. Our Arab Champions, excuse me. And he's going to go ahead and get 60% on this base. And I'm, I'm pretty sure he could do better. And this is a really strong base right now. I've been using this base. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next base. Coming in at our number four spot this week, we have Rooks, Rock from Arab, uh, Roo7 from Arab Champions. And he's going to be showing us how to do some Go Wee Wee coming in from the top. Now he is a Titans 1, and he's going to be dropping his three golems up here at the top, breaking into the three compartments, dropping his wizards all around. And then he's going to put down his witches up at the top with some wall breakers as well as a golem out of that CC. So here he goes. The witches are plowing into the center. He puts down the jump spell. He's also going to put down some wall breakers over there on the side, which is a little bit odd if you just jump them in. But he went ahead and put those barbarians down from the king's ability. He wants to plow through all these buildings as quick as possible. And this is basically a rush strategy to get to the town hall. And then hopefully he can take out the rest after the town hall is gone. So here comes all the traps, all the skeleton traps. He goes ahead and freezes that inferno tower over there. That might have been a little bit premature. But that's okay, he's still gonna do this with ease as his queen has not been touched yet once again. And he's gonna easily take out this town hall. And now it's just up to his queen to go ahead and finish off the rest of the building. He still has a bunch of wizards and a little bit of the golemites left. Um, but really good attack by Rue 7 Rock from Arab Champions. Um, and yeah, he's gonna pick up the easy two star. So yeah, amazing base, really strong base here. As you can see, he got the 53%. He's gonna go ahead and pick off the buildings. A lot of times people do this for practice. If they need to learn how to, the ranges of the buildings, they can tell um, where that's gonna be going. But good attack by him, guys. Let's go ahead and move on to our number three attack for the week. Coming in at our number three spot this week, we have Jess Gel Muncher from Bombay, Canada, although he left his clan, hoping his clanmates can find him, and he's attacking this maxed out base, a really popular design right now, and he's attacking from the bottom using Go Wipe. Now he's not even going to use any spells or any wall breakers, he's just going to let his golems break through there and do some wizards. Uh, now there's not any giant bombs down there, good for him, otherwise his wizards would have been in a little bit of trouble. He's going to put down a perfect jump spell, look at that jump spell right on the edge of that wall, and his wizard's just going to take out everything. Golems are going to make a perfect little pocket for the wizards to go inside and the king and the queen are just going to wander and take off all these buildings. His golems have already jumped to the center and he put down another beautiful jump spell right into the center of the base where the town hall is. His wizards haven't yet caught up but his wizards are going to loop back around and go over that jump spell. As you can see his heroes are already taking a beating. His king made his way to the center before anything else. 
His golems are just now hopping into the center. His queen is fine, and he has a, a bunch of wizards just firing at everything. Now he has to deal with that lava hound who is going to distract all the wizards as well as the archer queen. The archer queen's raged up in the perfect range right at the edge of that rage bell, and the town hall is going to go down. I believe at the time this was a 58 cup offer, and he's gonna go ahead and two star him. Actually do really, really well, and he's gonna pick up 37 cups. Really good raid by him, Jess from Bombay, Canada. Let's go ahead and move on to the next attack, guys. All right, guys, coming into our number two spot this week, we have Bolto from Bombay, Canada. And the reason he made this spot is because of pure creativity. Look at his army comp. He is using Dra Lavalunian with one Lava Hound in the CC, six dragons, 14 balloons, nine minions. And he's going to use that hog to drag out the Lava Hound. And now he's thinking, hmm, what can I do? Where can I take this Lava Hound where my troops will be safe? He's going to drop down a Barbarian at this top left side and get that Lava Hound over there so his minions can deal with it. He's going to drop down his minions here, take care of that Lava Hound so it doesn't give him any troubles once he goes in for the attack. Very well done with the lure there. Um, a lot of these bases, it's really hard to lure. This is a really popular base right now, this base design, and he did a good job at getting it out of there. Now he's using the Lava Hounds to go in first, followed by the Dragons and the Balloons. Now the Balloons are going to go a little bit faster than the Dragons, but the Lava Hound should tank up for those Balloons. He's going to put the Free Spell down on that Air Sweeper. It's probably really annoying him. Um, the Dragons and the Balloons are going to take care of the Air Defense as well as the Archer Queen down there. And now the Balloons are in the center. Once again, he dropped that Freeze, not sure if he meant to hit the Inferno Tower there, but it's okay. He still takes out that Inferno Tower over there. Now his Dragons are drifting off to the side, and he's, he's going to wait for them to take out all those side buildings so he can make his way into the center and hopefully get to that Town Hall. So he's still got a couple Dragons left, a whole bunch of buildings down here. And he's going to go ahead and take out the rest of these buildings, drop some wall breakers, and he's going to see where those troops go. And he drops down some more wall breakers, and out come the skeleton traps. He's going to put down his king, drop the poison to take care of those traps, and put in his heroes to easily take it out. Beautiful attack by Bolto. Interesting, very interesting attack strategy at Titan 1. And uh, great job, man. Bolto 4 from Bombay, Canada. Let's go ahead and move on to the next raid, guys. Rounding out our top spot of the week we have Rian from north 44 she is attacking the number one player at the world up in smoke as he broke the record for trophies now here she goes she must have been so nervous i believe it was a 47 cup offer and she is attacking from the bottom here two jump spells she's using go wipe puts down her golems they're just going to jump in easily all the wizards are going to take out these buildings some of them are going to stray to the side as well as the pekkas which is not a good thing um, golems are going to be making their way towards the center. Some of the wizards decide, hey, I'm going to go in the center. One of the P.E.K.K.A.s loops back, and they're going to take out the Lava Hound right there. And the Lava Hound is going to go down. Nice. And the king is going to go ahead and make his way to the center. King's actually really weak right now, but the golems are taking in all the defenses. Beautiful free spell to stop that Inferno Tower from taking out any of the wizards. And she is going to keep on plowing through this base, take out the Inferno Tower. Queen's making her way to the side. Some of these wizards make their way to the town hall without a rage spell. Those wizards are going to take out the town hall there with the queen wandering off to the side. She's going to hit a wall. Had those wizards not gone there, she might have been in some trouble. Probably only gotten the one star. But thankfully, some wizards made some good decisions and they went straight. So, amazing attack by Rianne. She's going to pick up the two star here. And she must have just been in awe. Looking at a 47 cup offer for a Titan 1 is absolutely ridiculous. You don't find those very often, and she admired the base. I hope you guys enjoyed this top five raids of the week, and I hope you guys submit some clips. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. Let's see if we can hit 1K likes, and you guys like, comment, subscribe, and take it easy.